Hello, hello. Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. You're gonna get two videos back to back because the spring decor in the dining room connects to the decor in the foyer. So we might as well release them at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and start working with our florals. I've already added the water and mixture to the vase and I've started to apply the tape to the top of the vase. For me, Valentine's Day marks the introduction of seeing some of the most beautiful florals of the year, especially roses. So here I am with two bouquets and guys, I'm gonna clean them up. Um, you know, there's some prep work to these. You don't just put them into your vase. You have to make sure that you cut off a little bit of that stem. Now, as you see here, I have already prepped the vase and I didn't have as much scotch tape as I thought I had. So I had to modify it just a little bit. And I definitely wanted to make sure that the clear part of the tape was on the outer rim of the vase. I began by cutting away at least an inch of the stem on the bottom. And I also broke away some of those lower leaves or those that just looked a little bit sad. And I thought that they would definitely mess with the appearance of the arrangement. I try to uh, alternate the application when I'm putting in the flowers so I don't necessarily have one color on one side and one concentrated on the other. So I try and mix it up. Now this isn't the best tape, but we're gonna work with what we have. So I hope you enjoy watching me put together this simple arrangement and then we'll wrap it up with a final project. Okay, I see a few clusters of the same color, so I have to go back and fix those. And I will definitely do that before I put it, this arrangement in the foyer. But isn't that beautiful, inserting that lily there? Love that, that's my mom's favorite flower. Thank you. 
and voila, this is what's in the foyer right now on that cabinet. Isn't it gorgeous? So beautiful. I love it. So the Christmas lanterns didn't make it back into the attic. I decided to put them to use in the foyer. We're empty nesters now, so we know how to maneuver in the foyer. I grabbed some of this moss. I have a tote of all these things, guys. And this one's pretty easy. It has grid lines on the back, so you can easily cut straight lines. I also had these beautiful floral pots in the attic. It's a set and the three different sizes. I placed one on top of that moss that I had cut inside the lanterns. And then, how simple is this? Took a simple topiary ball and placed it on top of the flower pot. And voila, now I've got greenery down to the floor and not necessarily a large plant in the foyer, which wouldn't work because this space is indeed very narrow. Now I still have a little room to add a little decorative scatter on top of that moss for Easter, Mother's Day, and even into early summer. The garland is still on the stairs because it's a part of an upcoming feature. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.